I'm in Papua New Guinea, fishing for a black bass, a possible culprit for a string of vicious attacks, spanning 60 years and three kinds of water. I've been washed out upriver, and my only hope of catching one now is in the river mouth. And it looks like I've got something on the end of my line. Oh, here we go. Got something on there. Let's go out this way a bit, yeah. Yeah, 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 yes, 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 that's a fish. Motoring over to where the fish is at the moment. Uh, it looks like it's well clear of the bank, but the problem is there could well be sunken snags down here. Shortening the line, shortening the line, shortening the line. Yeah, just keep coming this way into this clear bit. It's a big fish. Yeah, can maybe stop the motor, stop. Yeah, this is good, this is good. Here we go, and... Oh, there's the leader, there's the leader. I can see it now. It's on the surface, there it is. It's a big bass. Net in the water. Left. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Yeah. Well, this is a big New Guinea black bass. This battle scarred specimen is large, but they can grow to twice this weight. I think all the pieces finally fall into place. It has the coloration that matches George's story of that mystery fish on the reef. It has the teeth that could have inflicted that bite wound that I saw on Andrew. And having felt this on the end of a line, no doubt about it, uh, the power. If this thing grabbed hold of your leg and started pulling, I think you'd go with it. You'd go under the water. This is the fish that I'm looking for. This is the fish behind those stories. 